This is Entertainment Hacker. I'm your host for this video, Cam Smith. I'm a media show. There's a roundhead in this channel. His name's John Paul Rye. He hates Last Jedi. He hates Captain Kennedy Ryan Johnson. And now he hates Batwoman. He don't even like Captain Marvel. He's a creep. So I gotta come here and cancel him out. Let's cover an article. <laughs> this is a great article from my favorite, favorite website in the world, Mary Sue, where beautiful, beautiful women write about beautiful, beautiful people, well, about beautiful, beautiful things. Here we go, baby. Let's talk about Ruby Rose, Batwoman, how it's a smashing sensation. And if you don't like Batwoman, I don't think we're on the same page here. Alright, here we go, baby. I gotta say, I love the Mary Sue's logo. It's this powerful woman. She's just got her elbow out in the air like she don't care, baby. Alright, the Batwoman trailer brings Kate Kane's original story to life. Kate Kane, who needs Bruce Wayne? Jiminy Christmas, baby. Basing the first season on Greg Rooker's LG run is a smart move. Smart genius, baby. Look at the hair on this chick. Um, I, um, I mean, on Batwoman. No disrespect, Ruby Rose, baby. The more I hear about the CW's Batwoman series, the more excited I am to see it. From casting announcements and releasing synopsis, it's clear that season one will be based on Batwoman, LG, a.k.a. the best Batwoman detective story ever written. Ah, every time I read this website, The Mary Sue, I get tangly inside, man. It's like every word that comes out of these writers' mouth is dead on, 100% accurate, baby. Oh, I see some video with John Paul Rye saying, oh, the Mary Sue was a troll site. Troll site? If a troll site means a site where people get together and share personal feelings about beautiful things, I don't know what a troll is, baby. You tell me what a troll is. You see this stupid thing here? What is this? It's a toy. This idiot John Paul Rye playing with toys? You gonna tell me someone who plays with toys knows how Batwoman's gonna be? Things about society? Things about... Feminist nature, the beauty of a woman, the inside of a woman. I know, baby, because I'm a shell. Shells love women. Shells love women in movies, baby. Why does CW's Batwoman casting raise concerns about Jewish representation? Well, I'm cool with Jewish representation. You know, why not? Represent everybody, baby. We gotta get every possible ticket buyer in the movie theater when the movie comes out for Batwoman. Uh, I don't want to give away any spoilers, but it's probably gonna be a movie, guys. This Smash Sensations gonna be off the hook. Recently, CW announced the premiere of new upcoming superhero series featuring DC's most high-profile LGBTQ plus superheroes Batwoman. I'm down for that. LGBTQ, as long as the story's good, as long as the character's good, and in this case, they're really good. Plus, Ruby Rose is hot, baby, so it's gonna be smashing. However, when it was announced that Ruby Rose, Orange is the New Black, was cast as the titular character, <laughs> titular, <laughs> titular character, I don't know exactly what that means, but I'm down with the titular character for Batwoman, if you guys <laughs> know, know what I'm saying. <laughs> Kate Kane, aka Batwoman, the news was received with mixed reviews for various reasons, one of them being that Rose is not of Jewish descent, while the comic book character is. I don't know, baby. I'm just still kind of, kind of excited about this titular thing. What's a, what's a titular character? I mean, if Ruby Rose is going for a titular character with Batwoman, I guess they uh, got a home run here, cause it's pretty titular to me. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little off track from my chillin', cause I got excited. I got excited, baby. Here it is, baby. Detective Comics. It's really old. All these man, baby, basement dwellers are saying, "Oh, the stuff from my generation, the old stuff, was better." Well, here it is. It's from an old Detective Comics about Batwoman. Now it's just Ruby Rose, the beautiful smash sensation of the world. Only second and third to, you know, Rain Captain Marvel. I'm not gonna, you know, completely do a flip flop here, you know. But uh, Ruby Rose is hot right now. She's in. Let's take a look at the trailer. I bet it's doing really good. All right, baby. Let me put on my shill thinking cap here and get to it. Two hundred forty-seven thousand dislikes. Wow, what the fuck, man? I gotta drop an F-bomb here. What? People aren't loving this thing? Oh, that's why shows like me gotta work overtime, baby. Jiminy Christmas, this is crazy. Well, let's see what people are saying about it. Entertainment Hacker, wow. 247k dislikes. What the hell? What am I doing here? I'm shilling this thing. Why is Entertainment Hacker so happy there's dislikes? Ah, oh, that man baby me piece of SHIT, baby. I can't stop saying baby. Ah, oh, hate him. Ah, oh, hate him. Leading comments doesn't change the fact that this show is gonna flop. Flop? What are you talking about, Darren Gibson? You got a Batman avatar, baby. What are you thinking? This is Batwoman, Batman, you sexist freak. I bet you live in a basement. This might be the most cringe, politically ham-fisted joke of a trailer. Andrew Hassel. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, Andrew. Andrew, are your eyes working? Are you blind? Are you crazy? You insane? Came back to check the dislike ratio. Yep, still going the right way. What? Going the right way? It's going up, baby. We need to go down. I'm gonna give this thing a like right now, baby. Oh my god. The suck is strong with this one, CW. Now stands for cringeworthy. Ah, ha, ha, cringeworthy. I'll show you cringeworthy. How do you even read that screen name, baby? Slicker Licker 005. You suck, baby. Man, you know. So what? Batman's got a pair of tits now. What's the big deal? It's the same thing. Batcave, Batsu, Batcar. Oh. I'm having a little bit of a breakdown. Oh, Ruby Rose, Ruby Rose, I wish you were here now, I'd give you a big hug, and if you let me, a big kiss in the cheek, and i just let you know that everything's okay, baby, the show's gonna be great, they're just 40 old white dudes in their basement coming off of the hate from The Last Jedi and Game of Thrones now, and oh my god, Ruby Rose, you stick in there, girl! 
It will when it fits a woman. That's it. Totally ruined. So cringy. Well, what do you mean? It should fit 13,000 likes on this comment. Oh, I feel like quitting my job here. These haters are making it so hard on me. Oh, I gotta calm down. I gotta calm down, baby. Oh, jeez. I really don't know what to say here. I mean, if you think that woman sucks, you suck. It looks so good to me. The Mary Sue thinks it's so good. How could 247,000 people think it's bad if the Mary Sue says it's good? <sighs> I've got to make some fake accounts and subscribe to the Mary Sue and give that thing some likes because if she was going to do what she was going to do, baby. Before I go, I just got to take a look at Brie Larson. And I got to say, you know, it just really soothes the soul to look at somebody who knows about life, who knows about society, who knows about Hollywood especially. What do you think Brie Larson thinks about that woman? I bet. <laughs> I bet Brie Lawson's gonna come out swinging in defense of Ruby Rose, baby. Maybe we'll even share a little kiss. <laughs> if you like Ruby Rose, Brie Lawson, Captain Marvel, Kathleen Kennedy, Ryan Johnson, you have found the wrong place, because they're the hater on this channel. His name's John Paul Wright. He hates all that stuff. I love it, though. And I'm here to shield, and I'm here to cancel that man, baby, based on Tolan Freak out. I'll see you next time, because I have to.